Hi friends, are you ready for story time today? Today my book is Izzy Gizmo and it's by Pip Jones and Sarah Ogilvy. Izzy Gizmo is an inventor. Are you ready to see what she creates? Look at that contraction that she just made. Izzy Gizmo, a girl who loved to invent, carried her tool bag wherever she went in case she discovered a thing to be mended or a gadget to tweak to make it more splendid. But the trouble with things that have dials and switches is they don't always work. They have certain glitches. The team Mendes, for instance, did such a fine job till out popped a piston and off dropped a knob. Then the swirly spag Sonic for eating spaghetti turned grandpa's wallpaper into confetti. She has some very interesting contractions, but guess what? It means her mind is working and she's thinking. The beardtastic had grandpa near perfectly styled till the foam overflowed and the clippers went wild. Well, Isabel, who was so clever and bright, would get rather cross when things didn't go right. And she huffed, it's too tough, I had it, I quit. She kicked her invention and called it a twit. Oh no, she was getting very frustrated. Should we ever quit? No, we don't give up, friends. Isabel fumed, Grandpa smiled and chuckled. You can't just quit, cause the thingy Bob buckled. Now trust me, young lady, sometimes you need to try again and again if you want to succeed. Perhaps Grandpa was right, but still Isabel sighed. She picked up her tool bag and wandered outside. Kicking the stones on the path as she walked, Izzy jumped at a bump up ahead. Something squawked. She's not very happy, but she went for a walk to think things over. From the clouds, a poor crow had taken a tumble and landed kapoof in a feathery jumble. Izzy ran to the vets, but he just shook his head. His wing is too broken to fix, the doc said. Perhaps take him home and there you could try to teach him to live as a crow who can't fly. Oh no. Now, do you think Izzy's just gonna let him sit there and do nothing and not fly? Day after day, as he thought she had found something fun for her crow to do on the ground, like digging for worms and racing fat slugs, hopscotch and hoopla, and searching for bugs. But the heartbroken crow simply gazed at the sky as the other birds sang and flew happily by. Crows need to fly. One night with the crow and in the folds of her sweater, Izzy sighed, oh, I wish I could help him feel better. I've tried, he won't play, he won't drink, he won't eat. She was very so close to admitting defeat. Grandpa said, Izzy, don't give up on him now. I know you can do it, just work out how. Then Grandpa passed Izzy her gadgety things and she knew what to do. I'll invent some new wings. So she's back to inventing. Izzy piled up her books and she started to read. Then she made a long list of all the things she would need. So first she did some research and then she made a list. She searched from some batteries and old electronics, dismantled a mixer and the swirly spag sonic. The crow watched entranced and he held Izzy's drill while she bent, bashed and battered and walloped until. Look at, oh, she's making a big mess but sometimes you gotta make a big mess if you're inventing something. Ta-da! Izzy fastened the wings with a strap, but they hummed and they twitched, far too heavy to flap. Ah, Izzy yelled, I'm no good at succeeding. The crow softly called, his beady eyes pleading. What now, Izzy cried. Try again, Grandpa said. Okay, follow me. And with off that, she sped. So the first wings were way too heavy. Izzy dove in a pond where she borrowed a pump. Then she took from an engine two sprockets, a sump. Izzy fastened the wings. They were light, they were curvy. But the wings, the wrong shape, turned the crow topsy-turvy. Ah! 
I give up, Izzy yelled with a furious frown. The crow sadly caught as he hung upside down. Izzy unscrewed the head of the shower, found special circuits to adjust the wing's power, and finally using her trusty old pliers, she borrowed the motors from two big blow dryers. She keeps going and going. Yes, Izzy said, the right shape, perfect weight, but one wing flapped madly. The crow couldn't fly straight. I've had it, yelled Liz, Izzy, heading straight for a bend, but the crow blocked her path. He just wouldn't give in. The crow said, don't give up. Izzy twizzled and tinkered and using his beak, the tip tapping crow gave the screws a good tweak. Then he loosened the cog from grandpa's old mixer. I think they're gonna get it. You can fly, Izzy cried. Oh, your name should be Fixer. After two loop the loops, Fixer came to land and stood happily cawing upon Izzy's hand. You tried very hard, Grandpa said, and succeeded. You kept at it, Izzy. You did what was needed. She did not give up. Don't, but don't pack your tools up. Your day's not quite ended. A few things around here now need to be mended. Uh-oh, she took all those parts from other people's things and now she's got to fix those things again. And look at the very end. She made her own wings so she could fly with her crow. And that, my friends, is Izzy Gizmo. Never give up, keep trying. Even if things don't work the first time, you can do it. I believe in you.